DCM works mostly white people yelling opinions at the internet. Be advised, this podcast features grown-ups using grown-up words. Hi, and welcome to Not Another Smallville. My name is Steph, and I've never seen the show before. And my name is David, and I'm really sad off to that. Yeah, this is season one, episode 19. It also is. Also known as Very Sad Episode. Also known as that one where the, the writers were like, no, how dark can we go? Boys and girls, your attention please. Presenting a new exciting radio program featuring the thrilling adventures of an amazing and incredible personality. Yeah. How weird can we make everyone feel? Yeah. This went from being a kid's show to being an adult show in literally like half an episode. Yeah, it um, was, mm. Yeah, I liked wow. it, I liked it. First episode in a while that I've actually been like, wow, that was actually good. It was, a, mm. see, my, my worry is that it might have still been terrible, but... It's, but it's, it's good for the show, right? In context, it yeah. was like the best episode so far, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lot of times where I was just like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? And that is a good sign mm-hmm. for this show. Because that mm-hmm. means that they're actually doing something interesting. Yeah. I'm afraid to ask what the story was because I know how dark it was. But mm. let's just get through it so we can get... We'll power through the sadness and the dark the dark shit and then we'll get to the jokes. Mm-hmm. So let's try and power through. Okay, so basically, it starts off... Um, there's like a career convention, I guess, at school. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Do we have those here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just not held out school. Yeah, okay, you just go like to Like, you them. go to, like, uni expos. Oh, okay, cool. But, I don't know. But, um, anyway, and then Chloe is obviously at the Daily Planet stall and whatever, and, um, mm-hmm. can't remember how it happened, but he, Clark... Chloe got angry at Clark because all he ever seems to be doing nowadays is hanging out with Lana and Lex and never paying attention to her and Pete and all of their other, like his other friends yeah. when they're <clears throat> around. And um, anyway, so she sort of storms off angry because she's like, you know, for the past three weeks, you spent like 45 minutes with me. That's ridiculous. Yeah, like, and it was because her car broke down. Yeah, and um, and he had to pick her up for a ride home. And then anyway, Pete was like, "Dude, it's obvious Chloe Bro. likes you." Yeah, you know, come on. She's got like, the clock. If you if you if you took boy. your Lana blinkers off, you know, you'd notice. You'd notice. And um, anyway, meanwhile, uh, this kid. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, this yeah. kid. This was actually at the start of the episode, but it just makes more sense in context, like to explain it like this. So the start of the episode, this kid. He um, was in Metropolis Children's Hospital, mm-hmm. uh, presumably for an accident that had happened. It was a hit and run. He really liked drawing, but he had like severe nerve damage and his hands are always going to be fucked, etc., cetera, et cetera. Yep. Um, He was angry at his doctor, who I guess he thought maybe didn't treat him properly. Yeah, it seems like the... He didn't want to be discharged, from what I can tell. Anyway, so the doctor goes off to like go to a party with his wife and he's going down the lift and um yeah the guy basically it's not really like the con well the way that it happened isn't really explained but you're sort of assuming that he made it happen so the lift like starts to free fall I guess Cut, yeah and then catches itself and but like there's a wedge between like the door of the lift being open and like the floor up so the guy like gets his wife out yeah and then he tries to get himself out and like she's like holding onto his hands trying to like pull him out and the lift starts to move down and like basically cuts off his hands Uh, and meanwhile there's kids in in the room Mm -hmm. with like a picture that he drew which he said that he can't draw but he obviously he he can't draw anymore but there was a picture of his doctor and he's like scribbling in his hands with red yeah and so like you're like oh okay this kid did something yeah anyway meanwhile (laughs) he he comes back to smallville because he's been discharged and like obviously chloe and him are great friends have known each other forever even though we've never heard of him yeah and as soon as he's back um bang romance at the time as well because chloe was upset that clark wasn't paying enough attention to her. She sort of latched onto this guy and, like, because he was showing her interest and stuff and whatever. And Classic kind of reboundy. Yeah, and Clark thing. was getting jealous because he's like, what the fuck? Like, I thought you liked me. Yeah, and it's the first time that he's known that she li- that she likes him as well. Yeah, and um, so most of the episode is just sort of him dealing with that. But anyway, um, this guy, they... I think he drops his 
things, like the guy with the bad hands. He drops his Justin? things. Justin? Yeah, Justin is his name. He, yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty okay. sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Let's say it I is. think it is. Yeah, Justin. He drops his, um, his things, like his papers and whatever, and Clark goes to help pick them up. And by the way, Chloe's angry at Clark at the moment, like refuses to talk to him. She's angry at him for most of the episode. Yeah. And, um... Anyway, so yeah, Justin drops his things and Clark, like, helps pick them up and, like, he sees a, um, an article about the incident with a doctor who lost his hands in a freak elevator accident and Clark's yeah. like, oh, this is fishy and tries to bring it up to Chloe and she's like, no, you're just she's doing like, this just because jealous. you're jealous. So I can leave me alone. And he's like, okay, fine. And he is jealous. He is jealous. <laughs> yeah, but, she's yeah. not wrong. Anyway, um... He's also struggling because he also likes Lana, oh, but Lana's so with tough. Whitney, and she... but they both sort of like have a little thing. There's like this unspoken. They they're at that point where they if if they were single they would be together already. Yeah. But because of the circumstances, they kind of are tiptoeing around the fact that they like each other. Yeah, yeah, and um, they basically acknowledge it with each other, but without actually like explicitly being like, "I like you." Yes. And um. Yeah. Anyway, then, meanwhile, <laughs> oh, yeah, your, no, yeah, yeah. Clark's, uh, uh, Clark and Chloe asked, like, oh, do you know who hit, hit, like, to Justin, oh, do you know who hit you in the hit and run, blah, 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 and he's like, no, I don't remember much, all I remember is part of the number plate that said DDI, like, DDI and a number, and, um, yep. anyway, Clark's like, oh, you should call the police, and Chloe's like, uh, if we, <laughs> I've if it we have, my if, guy, we, if we, if anything d- arises we'll let you know yeah very aggressive still yeah. angry at him clearly but anyway so later on you see a car pull up into a driveway with the number plate ddi nah. and out hops principal principal Kwan. Kwan, our boy yeah and he's like it's night time he's you know probably getting home from a long day at the office a big day at the school mate yeah and all of a sudden justin appears behind Bang, him in the road without then, making a noise yeah and with yeah. no mode of transport because mm. he can't drive yeah did he walk i don't know Oh, by the way, at this stage, uh, Justin has revealed to Chloe that he has telekinesis. because yeah, they made and so, out, and he had a yeah, telepathic boner. Yeah. And Sorry, like tele- he, telekinesis. He can draw telepathic. with his mind. Just so, super cool. Yeah. Anyway, um, so then he um, he appears, and like, Principal Kwan's like, Justin, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, blah, 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 you, you hit me. What did it feel like? T- like, you know, like... It was so easy to just drive away, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Principal Kwan's like, I didn't do it. I think you should go home. And he's like, oh, no. And, like... JK, time to murder you with yeah, your Yeah, time car. to murder you. So he, um, <laughs> he tele... Telekinetically. Yeah, telekinetically uh, picks up Principal Kwan and pins him against the, um, his garage door with, like, a freaking garden light that has, yep. like, a sharp point. He, like, just, like, pins it into his it's suit. Real brutal. And then, um... Uses his telekinesis to turn on the car, just put it into drive, and run it. into him. Yeah. And anyway, we're there, and we're like, "Oh my god! Like, is he dead? Is he dead?" Just and then fucking murdered him. Yeah, yeah. He he just murdered Principal. And we Kong. saw the whole thing. They didn't like cut away from it. Yeah, no, no, no. Just, like, yeah. just the car ran into Principal. Kong, crazy and that's dog. It. He's dead. He's dead. Out of the show forever. And uh, yeah, and then Mama Ken is like, like later is like Clark. It's Principal Kwan. He's been murdered. Like he he ran. He's a dead boy. Yeah, he he yeah, died. Yeah. Clark's like, it was the Justin. Character. And obviously, uh, oh no! And then Chloe afterwards the next day is like investigating the death, and she sees that um the number plate. Oh no! Clark points out to Chloe that the number principal Quan's car has the same number plate. Yeah. As like the first three letters are the same as what um Justin's Justin said. Yeah. Yeah, with the car that hit him and. They're like, oh, do you think, you know, that's... He's like, oh, do you think that's why? You know, like, it could Chloe's be Justin. like, not having a bar She's like, it. no. And anyway, she um she's at Justin's house. And... Because they're, like, sort of dating now, I guess. And then... um I, Well, I guess they... She went there to make out with him, I guess. Yeah. But she, like, looks at his comic uh, strips, because apparently he makes comics. And um it's, like, just the scenes of, like... uh how he killed Principal Kwan and, like, also um, where he, like, cut off the doctor's hands with the elevator. Yep. It's really just very, and very violent. then she, like, realises, like, oh, fuck, he he done it. He done did the crime. And uh, so, yeah, he comes in and is like, oh, hey, let's make out. She's like, no, actually, I might leave. <laughs> It'd be great if he walked in and he's like, hey, Chloe, let's make out. 
Well, he sort of was like that, to be he honest. He did, yeah. Even though they were talking about Principal Kwan's death. Yeah. He was like, yeah, okay, yeah, but also let's let's do the sex. Let's make out. Yeah, so she leaves and then he, like, looks at uh, his comic book folder thing and sees that it's been tipped on its side. So he knows that Chloe's looked at it. He knows about it. Yeah. And, um, anyway, so Chloe, I don't know why she's in Clark's barn. Well, because she, she's like, was she looking for, I don't know Oh, yeah, she was looking go. for Clark to tell, to tell him, that he was right. him that, yeah, and he's, she's, like, yelling out, like, Clark... Um, you were right. He did it. Well, she and bloody then, calls him on the phone. Yeah, she? yeah, at yeah. The... She's on the phone. She's at his barn. Yeah. Well, cause, yeah, because he's at the town and she's yeah, like, yeah, "I'm at your barn. There's yeah. a bloody thing." Yeah. Ah, help! And then all of a sudden, Justin appears behind her because somehow he knows that she's yeah. at the barn. I don't. Don't even know how he know Smallville. how to get to Clark's on, house, considering they'd never really spoken before. I don't. Mm. Anyway, how, also, how far away is that? Can Justin drive? Who knows? I guess he could telepathically. He, he could telepathically drive. But like. Um, anyway, so yeah, he essentially attempts to murder Chloe, throws a horseshoe at her telepathically, lifts her up in the air, throws her, like gets a chainsaw, just gonna murder her, and turns it on. Like, she's unconscious now because he threw the horseshoe at her head and is like, oh, it didn't have to be this way. And then Clark comes out of nowhere and super speeds in front of the chainsaw Chainsaw. and it breaks. And then he's like, how'd you do that? And he's like, oh, I'm a bloody super boy. And he doesn't like, say that, but he should have said that. <laughs> no, he should have said that. And anyway, yeah, he he throws him, he Shocking. dies, Chloe wakes up, gives him a big hug, gives Clark a big hug, like, with tears in her She's eyes. She's real traumatised. And then they're at the Talon afterwards, and, like, Clark's like, oh, I've still got two tickets to that journalism convention. Do you want to go together? And she's I, like, they hold hands? Yeah, they hold hands. They and hold hands? No, and then Lana sees it. Oh. Right, she's in the background, she sees it, and then Whitney walks in, and she's like, nah, i got to break up with Whitney. I'm pretty sure because she wants she Clark. She wants Clark, yeah. Like, it's pretty... It's pretty and quick. anyway, she's like, Whitney, we need to talk. And, and then Whitney's got upset. tears in his eyes, and she's it's like, why, dad. what's wrong? And he's like, it's my dad. And we're oh. like, oh, did he die? Is he really sick? And then it just shoots... Dead. It just goes to, like, a funeral. He's just dead. And it was like, oh, my god so he's dead and then they're all walking away and we get like the one of the best scenes of this entire show which is good well like there was no dialogue yeah but it's the lana is walking away with the with like the with whitney and she and, looks back at clark yeah and, and says, clark's watching lana and then chloe's watching clark Cl- watching clark watch lana and yeah, then lana and then, clark have this really long moment of eye contact and clark standing next to like an angel statue mm-hmm. You said that, and I, f- I was like, fucking God. I was like, it was like a moment, and they ruined <laughs> he it. He's your savior. Uh, I mean, that was such a good, that was such a well-executed scene. No, it was amazing. It, it was out of, it, like, like rain's pouring down. It's like very a, emotional. It's like out of a real they TV show. They had, like, show. a cover of Time After Time, like. I was very it was, sad. Yeah, it was very sad. And they just had this fucking moment where you yeah. were like, oh, he knows that Lana can't break up with Whitney. Yeah. Because of, because of the, because, because of, the, of his father's death, and then. Lana also knows that Clark should pursue Chloe because Chloe because Lana they can isn't... be together immediately. Whereas... And it's just this, like, it's a bad situation. And Chloe's around. like noticing that oh, she, Clark's she looking at Lana, and she's like, oh, she's like, I'm always gonna play second fiddle to. Yeah, it's just a whole mess of feelings all around. It's just yeah. a whole mess Sad of episode. stuff. It was. I can't believe Principal Kwan died. I though. just fight like it was so just with like no apology. They were no. like, here's the whole death. You watch the whole thing. Like, his car burst into flames, and he didn't die, but now they're like, oh, it's okay, we've reeled them in, let's just kill him. Yeah, let's just get rid of him. He had a son out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. We've never seen before. Uh, by the way, the son was the one who did the, hit did the, Dustin, yeah. not actually Principal Kwan, so... Yeah. Yeah, he killed an innocent man. He did, which is rough. And I, and uh, we were talking about this during the episode, but for some reason... Once again, everyone in Smallville just becomes a yeah, psychopath. Yeah, just becomes a psychopath. Like, like at they're... about the 25-minute mark of the episodes, they become a psychopath. Yeah. It's like, halfway in, time for them to become like, an insane villain. Like, why would you not, instead of murdering them, just be like, hey... Like, if it were me, I'd be like, okay, I'll now that I know that it's that number plate, I'll call the police and be like, hey, this is the person... Like, yeah, this, this is the number plate. This yeah. is what I remember of it. This King Dick That hit, hit me. me. Yeah. Can you... Look into it. Yeah. Do the police work? Yeah. Instead of just murdering a guy. And, and also, they tried to murder Chloe. Which, wh- why? Like, what the fuck? Because she knows about his powers, I guess? Oh, no, because oh, she, she knows that he killed... Don't draw the comics, then. Yeah. Don't draw the comics that are evidence no. of your murders. That's so stupid. That's like... I, like, it's actually ridiculous. Why it's, would you it's do like, that? It's like people that take Facebook... They, they Facebook it when they've done crimes and stuff, and then they get caught. Yeah. It's like, don't Facebook your crimes. Yeah. Keep them to yourself. 
Yeah. Oh, I just yeah, and then real bad, real bad, real bad murder in practice. If mm-hmm. you're gonna murder. Don't Facebook Don't do it. that. Don't no. draw comics no. of your murders. And then don't try and kill people that know about your murders. Because mm-hmm. you know who kill people that know about your murders? Murderers. Mm-hmm. You know who doesn't? People that didn't do a crime. Yeah. Fucking, it always bothers me that people on TV shows are so bad at doing crimes. Yeah. I guess they can't watch what? TV shows about people yeah, doing about crimes people to get good crimes. at crimes. Yeah. I think that, would that, is that a problem with like police people now that people are getting real good at crimes? Would that be an issue, or is the technology good enough that you can kind of work around that kind of thing? I the technology... I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm just thinking is like... Trial and error, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. You eventually find the right guy. Yeah. I just feel like if you're going to murder someone who hit you with their car, you've got to be like 110% sure before sure, you kill them. Sure, it's him, yeah. Like, if, if you've got your mindset on murder, you're like, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a drop this guy. I'm going I'm to kill a guy. Just be real sure. Like, mm. be 110%. Mm-hmm. Be like... He's definitely the guy that did it. Yeah. Though I guess if you're up for murder, you're probably not thinking too clearly. Probably not. Not that I've... I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's the official slogan of the show. I wouldn't know I'm not a murderer. <laughs> um, look, at the start of the episode, um, there was a few really obnoxious references. Mm. Actually, the episode opens with Principal Kwan saying to Clark, I can see you in a uniform flying. Yeah, yeah. And oh, like, you'd be a great uh, person in the Air Force. Fucking kill me, Smallville. Yeah. I, I just... I'm... I'm I will never forgive you for that. It's just so, oh. like, god damn. And then um, when Chloe's like, oh, Clark doesn't have much interest in journalism anyway. And Clark's like... Ugh. And we're just what? like, oh my god. We get it. He's, he's Clark he's, Kent. Mm. It's fine. We get it, Smallville. And then the whole... Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something that you mentioned, actually, which is that Chloe... Whenever she talks to Clark, always has to have, like, the last word. Yeah, always. Always. Like, whenever they're having an argument, whenever it's anything, Every she time. always has to say something like, um, what was it? It was like, like, in last episode, it was like, well, the man of tomorrow should stop thinking about today. His, his and, like, she just today. storms off. And, like, she does that with everything. And don't get me wrong, I get it. Like, they... Like, I understand that they are like, okay, we've got this character who is... That's her character, is yeah. that she does that. But it's just... It's, like, all the time. Give every episode. Rest, like, uh, multiple times every episode. Give me one episode off where she doesn't have the last word. Just yeah. once. Because this never happened. No. And then even, like... Even when they have pleasant interactions, she's always got a witty, like, outro line. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? She's always got something to say on her way out. Uh, which, come Chloe. on, Chloe. But that kind of brings me back to something that I wanted to... Um, Think about this for a few episodes. Um, mm-hmm. They slip from really realistic dialogue to incredibly unrealistic oh, in yeah. the weirdest ways. So, like, normally, if you're going to do a show that's, like, campy or whatever, like Smallville, you would have dialogue that suits that, right? So, like, mm-hmm. you put together and you write dialogue so it's, del- it's like, deliberately camp and mm-hmm. unrealistic, right? But Smallville wants, like, both sides of the equation. They want to yeah. have camp dialogue and then have these really serious moments that aren't that are, like, really, like, yeah. genuine. And, and you can have those genuine moments, but the dialogue has to still be in the same style. Yeah. But Smallville have this really bad habit of they'll have, like, an episode of really campy shit mm-hmm. and, like, dark moments and stuff. And then they'll have dialogue between two characters that's supposed to be emotional that just reads like it's two people talking yeah. in real life. Mm. And it just, it just it's so, like, jarring. Like, that moment where um, Chloe... Sorry, uh, Lana and Clark are talking about... Um, Clark is talking about the fact that Chloe, he has feelings for Chloe, or Chloe mm. has feelings for him, and that's why she's mad at him or whatever. Mm. And the conversation they have there is way too close to being realistic, because yeah. they kind of do that, they do that little dance that you do when you're two people like that, where you kind of talk about, like, he's like, oh yeah, there was someone that I liked before and I missed my opportunity, I don't think mm. we'll ever get it again. And she doesn't say anything, she just gives him this look, mm. and he gives her a look, and then she changes the subject slightly, and then they keep, like, they keep kind of mm. dancing around it. But it's way too realistic compared to the rest of the episode. Mm. Like, the rest of the episode, like, Clark goes into the the garage and he's talking to Danny. And Danny's like, I think you should get out of here. Yeah. And it's like, what the f-? And then compared to those moments where it's, like, these super genuine serious bits of dialogue. I don't I don't know what tone they're going for anymore. Like, no, I... I, mm. I think they're just really confused. Like, because it's... They're trying to... They're clearly trying to transition. Like, because mm. they, they're getting to the end of the season. Everything is happening. Mm-hmm. Whitney's dad is dead. Chloe and Lana, Chloe and Clark, holding hands. Holding hands. Chloe Lana, and Lana attempting to break up with Whitney, but now can't. And like, what's going to happen there? We're probably going to find out. We've only got two episodes left. So it's like mm. they're getting to the end of the season. They're kind of ramping things up, which is good. But they've, 
like they've done nothing this whole season. Yeah. And now there's two episodes left. They're like, better do everything at better once. Better do everything. And then that means that these episodes are going to be super serious and filled with emotion. Mm. Which just doesn't suit the rest of the season. No. Like, I just, I'm confused as to what they're going for. Like, tonally, and then even just the scripts. I don't know, man. A lot of the dialogue's really awkward, especially, I know it'll help when they stop doing the villain of the week thing, but, like, the guy who, like, Justin, he just, when he's about to kill Chloe with the chainsaw, he's just like, it didn't have to be this way. And, like, every villain say that? It's like... Why do they always give the same look on their face, like the same dead expression? It's like, we know it didn't. You're a murderer. That was a choice you made. Yeah. Of course it didn't have to be this way. You could have not killed people. Yeah, yeah. You could totally just not do that could as have well. got telekinesis and just not murdered. Yeah. One person in Smallville at some point will get powers and they won't murder someone. I hope. Uh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> you were like, I don't know about that, mm. David. That seems unlikely. Mm. These people are all crazy, insane murderers. They are. Because they kind of are. Which, I mean... Are we going to get an explanation at some point? Probably not. Why that is? No. no. Everyone in Smallville is just insane. Yeah. Well, the minute they get powers, they're insane. Power turns people. Pow- oh, pa- look, Steph. A power corrupts, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Especially kryptonite power. Mm-hmm. For some For some reason. reason. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe we will get an explanation. Kryptonite's bad. I guess it's radiated. So would that mess with your brain? Probably. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We also get another ending to an episode where we don't know what happened to the villain. He was just thrown against the... He was thrown against the wall and was like He hit his head on the lamp on the way down. So I'm assuming he's dead, but then Clark is like, no issues with him being dead. So I guess Clark doesn't... I guess the idea is Clark doesn't murder people on purpose. Yeah, but... He just he had... lets a lot of people kill themselves in front of him. But he did throw him. Yeah, but like he didn't throw him to kill him. I don't think... Who knows? Once again, Smallville has not established what kind of powers Clark has, how strong he is... What kind of damage that's going to do to, like, a normal person. Mm. Your vagueness, Smallville, it's killing me slowly. Mm. Do you have any hopes for the end of the season? Because we're getting really close. Uh, for a secret to be revealed. Ooh. You reckon he's going to tell Chloe or something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. either that or, like, have them see him do, do a something. Super thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll have to be, like, really convoluted because he's done a really good job of hiding it so yeah. far. They do what they do. The, they have, this, they have two, two tropes they use to avoid people knowing about Clark's powers. Uh, someone gets hit on the head and is unconscious just before he arrives, or uh, they something happens to them and they forget everything that happened. Yeah. That happened, like, it's either one of the... There's no in-between. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that it's permanent and that we can change the dynamic between the friends maybe mm. a little bit. And maybe Pete leaves? Hopefully. Hopefully? Maybe I get Whitney the feeling he probably will stick around for a bit longer, <sighs> though. Mm. Hashtag get rid of Pete. Hashtag get, get rid that shit, of Pete. Get that shit trending. Look, I'm excited for more emotional episodes, because that was really good. Well, yeah, the next two episodes, hopefully, they're all right. It'd be amazing if they were terrible. Like, they no, just went back wouldn't. to the formula. <laughs> like, and we would just be like, okay, this is... This is bad. Why did we do this podcast? <laughs> Look, that's it for this week. Yep. Um, As always, uh, people, we're at, we're at, the team's at DCM underscore works if you want to tweet at us. We also track hashtag NASpod mm-hmm. if you want to tweet at the show. Uh, let us know what you thought of season one if you've watched it recently, and if you have, I'm so sorry that you've watched it recently, but, or just your, your memory of what Smallville was like, Mm -hmm. uh, and if it was a fond memory, you might be wrong, but still tweet at us, uh, patreon.com slash dcmworks if you want to contribute directly, we're also powered by hover.com, get a sweet URL. Two dollars off, woo! Two, two, two US dollars off, that's Mm -hmm. like 50 Australian dollars, that's like so many Australian dollars, it's like, no it's not, it's like three and a bit. Yeah. Yeah. 50 sounded more dramatic, though. <laughs> I went with 50. Look, uh, you can buy a transfer domain. They're really good. Uh, and they help support the show as well. They're Yay! a sweet website. And that's really what it's all about. Uh, I'm at DCM. I hate pie. I'm at StephanieJD95. And we'll, we'll bloody see you guys next week. Wahoo, bye. <laughs> Was that a Mario noise? Yeah. Wahoo. <laughs> Wahoo. Thanks for listening. If you want to support the show, just head to patreon.com forward slash DCMworks. 